Lastly, there is a branching one, so you can actually make tree-like structures. So if I uh, just do some weird Y shape, uh, select, select. I'm just actually going to pop that across linearly. And now let's, uh, so that this is our root, and then these are going to be our like children branches, here, 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 and here. So what you need to do for the branching one is like a tree, you need to have a root for the tree. So you can click set root slit, and then you left click and drag, and you make a slit just like before. But when you reach the end, this blue and purple dot will be set. And those will denote, so this entire model gets copied into each of the children. And um, yeah, this roots defines how this joins where each of the children were. So maybe that will seem more clear in a sec. If I hit generate branching, see it actually took the existing model and copied it to each of the children using the root sort of slot that I slit rather I defined there. So maybe that's maybe a complicated example. We'll only do two children. There's one. And maybe we'll make this one look like that. Sure, whatever. Okay, so we again set the root slit. Whoops. Set the root slit. Branch. 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 So you apply that iteratively to subdivide. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of how that works. I have some randomization going on in there. Again, I might actually have a checkbox to enable, disable the, the, uh, the randomization, whether it grows all the branches together uniformly or, and whether it actually scales and makes these smaller. Notice the uh, copied ones are getting smaller and smaller. The root stays the same size. These other ones are getting smaller. If we select the base planar section, then the section to copy, then go to generate revolve, we can get one planar section that's duplicated all the way around or revolved around an existing planar section. The slider for the revolve operation on the left lets you interactively choose the number of duplicated sections to create. We now use the revolve operation with some others to create a complete model. We first make a circle, then we add a leg for a sort of spider-like creature, and I'm intending to revolve this leg around the circle, but first I'm going to add these sort of spiky like protrusions from it. And I'm going to select the base and that, and then go to Generate Linear to create like sort of a series of spikes along the leg. Just choose the number of spikes on the slider. Okay, then I select the base section and the one to copy, and then I do a revolve. So the revolve actually copies all the planar sections, not just the leg itself, but the those two, just adjusting the number of legs I want our spider guy here to have. Just viewing from above, we're going to add some sort of spikes that define the upper structure. So I'm just drawing in the uh, base there, just doing some adjustments to the curve. Okay, looks all right, I guess. So we'll just add some spikes here. Okay, I'm just going to use the linear operation again to copy those spikes. Looks fine. And now we'll copy that spike around. And there we go. That's our sort of spiky spider model.